everyone. Welcome to class today. My name is Christine. Today's workout is going to consist of Pilates and stretch. So we're going to work on Pilates exercises that will improve our core strength, lower back and balance, of course, along with some stretching that will lengthen and really make us more flexible. So let's get started. So what I want to do is sit up nice and tall in your chair. So today I'm going to be repeating myself a lot simply because I want you to really feel the right muscles which again in Pilates is the core, which is your center. So we don't want to arch or hyperextend our chest. We want to think of closing our rib cage around our torso. So our abs are really firm, but again, isolating, not tensing our shoulders, sitting tall in the chair. Now a nice deep breath up, lift that arm and exhale, let it fall side. And again, these are fluid stretches to start with. Inhale and exhale, let our body just drop side and down. Let's do that twice more. Inhale and exhale. Let's bend from the waist and release. One more time. Inhale and exhale. Just get a nice long stretch. Take it out. Now very slowly, let's just reach our arms up and press them down. So we're inhaling and exhaling. Nice long stretch, opening up that back. Still, like I said, focusing on those abs being nice and tight. Exhale, press. Let's take four of those. Four, stay really tall. Three, again. Two, once more. One, and hold. Now we're just gonna bring our body down and kind of move our back side to side, just getting a nice little stretch. Bring our body up. Now see if you can slide back in your chair right there. Now again, we don't want to slouch. I'm always showing the visual so you can get an idea of what not to do versus what to do. So we don't want to sink down. We want to tighten and see even by just tightening and lifting, it's like we're growing taller out of our seat. So we want to take our right foot forward and our arms over our head. So I want to exhale, squeeze and release. Again, squeeze and release. Now notice, let's just stop for a second and really review our form. Notice how I don't want my chest to drop. The chest always stays lifted out of the hip. It's that core and release. Exhale, feel those lower abdominal muscles tightening and releasing. I have five, four, keep that neck really straight, three, two, and one. Excellent, let's bring those arms side. Now get a little rotation to one side, keep that head straight, come across and to the other side. Let's do it twice more. Center and twist. One more time, center and twist. Excellent. Let's bring those arms down. Now we wanna extend our left. Remember our foot is flex, so our heel is flat. Our arms are here. Now we're exhaling and inhale. Remember what I talked about before, don't drop that chest. The chest is up. The contraction happens in those abdominals and the exhale is on the release. And it's really important, make that noise when you breathe. So you're making sure you're getting plenty of oxygen to your muscles. Inhale, now exhale. Blow it out. We have four. Four. Three, pulling those stomach muscles. Two, one more. And one, excellent, open its side. Now get a little rotation to the left, let the head follow, center, and right. Come back around. Now lower those arms and kind of just shake them out all the way, right there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that right arm over our head, and again, think of using your back muscles. So see the difference from this? I'm up in the shoulder. I wanna drop my shoulder by tightening my upper back, which is called my latissimus muscle. So what I wanna do is I wanna exhale, but take that left hand and get a little bend and a release. So I'm squeezing with my oblique and apply a little pressure on that left hand as you're exhaling and lifting. Tightening those abs right there. Squeeze, let me hear that breath. We have four, three, two, and one, excellent. Now nice little big stretch over, inhale, and sink into that stretch. Just let that head release right there, excellent. Now kind of rotate that wrist, really get that energy going through the wrist, and then reverse it to the other direction, excellent. 
Now we want to switch sides. Remember, reviewing. We're not locking or hyperextending that elbow. We're rounding it. And by relaxing that shoulder, we're tightening with that resistance to the back and applying a little pressure with that right hand. I know it's a lot to remember, but I keep repeating because you want to make sure you're in the right form. Now, the other thing is your knees should be together. Squeezing them together will help engage those core muscles. Again, you should be feeling this in your oblique and tightening those abdominals. So a little push with that right hand. Exhale, I have four more repetitions. One, and press. Two, and press. Three, I have one more. Four, and press. Now take it down, just kind of rotate that hand, and then reverse it around, excellent. Now we wanna take our feet apart, sitting really tall. So now my hands, we don't want them too high, chest level here. Now I wanna squeeze, contract, Press forward, exhale, inhale. Now watch what my legs are gonna do on this. So I'm gonna stretch my legs, then I'm gonna place my feet flat. Squeeze, release, squeeze, release. Again, let me hear that breathing. So we're inhaling through our nose, exhaling through our mouth. Four of those, one, nice and slow, Two, feel that back. Three, once more. Four, and hold. Let's take it down. Now keep that head nice and long. We're bending side to side using that waist again and up. Now let's stay tall right here. The head is long. I just want to get a nice long reach side, return it to center. So the same thing. Think of pushing down and lifting as I exhale and inhale. Exhale, let's do four more to the right. One, and look at my elbow, it goes all the way side. Two, three, once more, four, and lift. Now kind of just shake out those arms a little bit. Head is nice and long. Tighten up those core, and let's go left. And look at that form, it's like a line at an angle. And think like your left hand has a weight. You're pushing down, you're returning center. You're pushing down and returning. Push, I have four more reps. One, pull in the stomach. Two, really get deep into that muscle. Three, once more. Four, and hold. Now kind of let those arms just shake out with that head. Now bring those legs together and our hands, we do not want to grip our neck or, or the top of our head. We want to lightly place our fingertips at the side of our head. Now what I want you to do is I want you to exhale and lift up. So squeeze again, squeeze. So we're really getting our thighs together, contracting back and lifting. So we really feel that belly button deep into that lower back. Exhale, I have five more. One and lift, two. You wanna sit straight, you don't wanna arch your back, three, Four, squeeze those thighs, and five, excellent. Now this time I want my hands down and try to either see, if you cannot lift your leg, you can point your toe, your right toe on the floor. If not, lift that leg, and I just wanna push, push, exhale. So this is like a modified 100 that you would do in a full Pilates class, but this is a little easier. Squeeze, squeeze, again, push. So think again, someone's like poking you, pushing that belly button in, five, Four, three, two, relax, excellent, sit up. Now kind of just tap that heel in and out, get that blood flow in that leg. Now we need to switch that so we center ourselves. And remember, always be aware, you don't wanna sink in that seat. We wanna sit tall out of the hips, the head is long. My hands are relaxed. Now remember, if you cannot lift your foot, if you're just crunching right from there, but if you can, I want you to squeeze. So think again, the abdominals fold right in the center as that belly button contracts, exhale, down. Again, building a long, strong core is key to everything for our balance, our posture, squeeze, five more, one, two, three, four, rest, excellent, sit up. Now kind of just tap it out. Now let's just take a couple of stretches in between. We wanna take a nice wide stance here. 
reach those arms up into a V over the head. Inhale, down, exhale up. Now come out to the side. And remember, what we do, we hold for at least 10 seconds and really feel that energy. So don't be down here. Stretch out. So you're extending that energy. Hold. See how I'm not bouncing? I'm just holding. Now make sure my abs are in as I lift my body up. And come over to the other side and feel. So see the difference from that? I want that energy to go out straight. My head is long. My feet are flat. Breathe. Stay right there. Let's try that again. Center. Tighten up the stomach. Now extend, so see my elbows are a little straighter. And each time I try to go a little bit lower, breathe in and exhale, melt. Excellent, into that stretch, good, right there. Tighten up those core muscles, sit tall and come over again. Breathe, keep that neck nice and loose. Hold, four, three, two, come up. Now slowly feel those shoulder blades down Bring your feet a little closer. They're not all the way together, they're a little closer. What I want you to do is twist down, center, get a nice stretch over the head. So opposite, alternating, and reaching. So this is an exhale and a stretch right there. Twist, I'm not moving my hip, just through my oblique. Twist and lift. Alternating each side again, one, and stretch one more, two, and stretch. Excellent, just lower those arms. Now kind of let them just flow out to the side. Now bring your legs together. Let's slide our body all the way back into the chair. Extend your right foot, then your left foot. Now what I want you to do is place your arms for balance, nice and extended at your sides, but they're not way in back of you. Make sure you can see those hands right in front of you. Now I want you to lift and lower. Squeeze. Now really push your abdominals in, press them in, into the lower back. So that will use the back of the chair for support. Now let's add a little contraction. In and out. Exhale. Squeeze those core muscles. Shoulders are down. Tight abs right there. Let's count it off for 10 more. 10, 9, don't tense that upper body. Squeeze those abdominals. We're halfway there, five more. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Great job, let's just reach over. So each time we do this stretch, your head is nice and straight, you're extending from your back. And by extending from the back, we feel the backs of the legs, the hamstring. Inhale, and kind of fold forward a little bit. So we're getting that flexion right there. Excellent. Now roll up slow. Now what I'd like you to do, this is a little more challenging today, let's turn our feet out. Now see how my soles of my feet are touching? So they're not out here, they're together. Now I want you to place your hands at the side of the chair, a little lift and a little drop. So I'm squeezing my abs. Now try if you can extend those arms up. Now try a little contraction and a release. So see, I'm pushing into those abs. I'm not dropping my chest, my chest is up. This is a little harder. So if that's too much for you, you can keep those legs down, but really feel those abs. Or I'd like you to come up and down. Let's just do a set of five, because this is a new exercise, so we don't want to do too much, overstraining. Three, two, rest. Now nice long stretch in those legs reach out. Now again, in this position, I don't want you to bounce. I want you just to breathe in and bend a little bit lower. Let those arms come down. Now kind of stretch to one side, bring it over that head. My feet are flexed. Inhale. Now turn back a little bit. Look back to that right hand. Now see, I just want to kind of hang onto an angle right there. At least 10 seconds. See how stationary I am. I'm just breathing through my stretch. Now I'm tightening up that core. I'm shifting it to the other side. I'm lifting, 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 head is down. Inhale and exhale. I wanna come all the way down in that stretch. Stay right there, just hang. Take it again. Five, four, three, two, one, bring it down. Now let's bring our feet together right here. Let's just roll through our legs. Excellent, just kind of stretch it out a little bit. 
Now our feet are together. I'm gonna to show, we're gonna do the hundreds, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show a modified version versus the full exercise. So let's go with the modified first. So my toes are pointed, they're on the floor. My arms are here. And again, I'm not dipping that chest. See if you can lift that chest, but tighten those core muscles and just pulse, keep pulling in. Okay, so this is exercise one. If you cannot lift your legs, I just want you to do that. If you're able to lift your legs with me, raise them up, same thing, chest, and pulse. Squeeze right there. Keep that head long. Let's do 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, rest. Take it down. Now kind of bend a little bit, let that body go side to side. Now sitting straight, I would like you to cross one foot over the other, but both my feet are flat, my knees are together, and I'm sitting tall. Now I'm just crossing my arms, so I'm getting a little bend and lift. As I push my thighs together, I tighten my abs. So let's do 10 on this side. Then we're gonna switch legs, down, down. Keep squeezing, no tension in those shoulders. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's just pull forward for a second, relax that neck. Now as you lower your arms, switch to your left over your right, but place both feet flat. And don't see the separation of the knees, I wanna squeeze. So that automatically reminds me to tighten my core. So I'm crossing left over right, but again, don't grip or tense, just a nice light hug. And you're squeezing my thighs together, my abs are tight right there. Think of that waist bending into that oblique. We have 10 more. 10, nine, eight, keep pulling the stomach, seven, six, five, four, three, two, rest. Excellent, just uncross. Now place your hands, again, never on the joint, above the joint. Take that chest forward. Now get a little dip back, contract, tighten the stomach. Bring that chest out. Let's do that one more time. Contract back, hold and come up. Now kind of lift the shoulder one at a time, just stretch it out. And then nod that head forward. We don't want any tension in that neck. Lift it up, one more stretch, down and lift. Now let's get a little deeper stretch into our hip. Now I'm gonna show two ways to do this. If you cannot lift that leg all the way up, I just want you to cross, everyone can do this, cross at the ankle. Your foot, don't have it way back here. It's gonna be flat on the floor. If you're able to do this, I want you to cross it above your knee. So remember, if you can't bring your leg up like this, you're gonna be here, but try it here. Now a nice flat back, inhale, and see how I push that hip down. So that's the same thing on the modification. If I'm here, I'm reaching. So I'm gonna show the regular exercise, stretch. Now bring those arms behind you, clasp those arms and stretch forward. So this is really opening out that hip. Inhale and exhale, bend a little bit lower. Now gradually lift that chest. Now my hands are side. What I'd like to do is take my left hand behind my head, my right arm is side. I wanna crunch up and open again. Exhale, let that head follow. Now I'm gonna show that modification. For those of you that cannot lift that leg, the leg can still bend and it can still open. So again, always remember there is an alternation exercise for every single thing we do. So you don't ever wanna sit out. You wanna just try the modification if you can. So cross that ankle low, if this is too much for you. Exhale, four reps, one, two, three, four. Excellent, lower those arms. Now let's extend that right leg, open that left leg. Now I wanna just kind of hang down with both arms. Now reach with a lot of energy all the way up, inhale and melt into that stretch. Really feel that release. Hold it there. Excellent, right there. Now come down, bring your legs together, just shake them out a little bit. Now remember, if you cannot cross the leg all the way, try not to bring those legs behind the chair. I wanna see them in front of you with the leg open, or when you lift this leg, do not rest it on your joint, above the knee. So again, find the position, lower high, sitting, arm side. Now first stretch, inhale, and really open up that hip. The arms come back, stretch those shoulders. Inhale and exhale, just hang, never bounce. Feel that thigh release. 
gradually lift that chest. Now remember, find your position either up high or at the ankle. The hand is behind the head, the left arm is flat. Now remember, this can be a squeeze from this side if it's low, or I'll show the full position here, sitting tall, twist and release. So I'm exhaling and inhaling. Full rotation, tight core right there. Squeeze, another set of four, one, two, full in the stomach, three, four, excellent. Slowly lower. Now just bend again once more, inhale, and look towards your toe, drop that back, just hang. Now roll up slow, uncross the leg, stretch it out. Now remember, let the body melt down, flex that left foot, inhale, and really let it reach all the way over. So you're feeling it from the tip of the hip all the way up the oblique, relax that head, stay nice and low, and come down. Now let's take our feet together, we're still sitting up really tall, and our hands, place them at the side of the head. Now my feet are planted firmly together, knees together. Just open those knees, but look down so the soles of the feet are touching, if you're contracting in and lifting. Again, I'm gonna show the wrong way, this. I don't want that. Watch how I do this. This is the right way, so watch once. So see that's dipping into my ab, but my chest is up, and lift. Exhale again. Squeeze right there. Squeeze 10 times. 10, 9, 8, keep pulling it in. Round that back. 5, 4, 3, keep contracting the stomach. 2, and rest. Excellent. Arm side. Now separate your feet. Just let that rib cage get a gentle switch side to side. I have 4, 3, two, one. Now take those hands together, elbow side, walk your feet in a little bit. Now I want you to twist back, hold, come up, exhale. So think like you're digging with a shovel. You're squeezing back and then you're lifting and my head is straight. Squeeze. See that position? My elbow's back and I'm getting that rotation in the waist coming up. Now again, some of you range of motion is a little bit less, that's okay, but I need that angle. If you can, get that little twist back and lift. So you're digging down, exhale, and inhale. Four more. One, and lift, elbow side. Two, and lift. Three, I have one more repetition. Four, and lift. Now clasp those fingertips, turn them out. Bring those legs together. Now deep breath in. Over that head. Think again, growing two inches out of the hip, a little stretch to your right side hold. Stay, don't bounce, just hold. Center and left side. Excellent job right there. Now in the center, turn those palms towards each other so your fingertips are laced. My head is long. Now I wanna extend my left leg. I'm twisting right and center. Just my waist, keep that head straight. Squeeze that core again. Twist, four more, don't rush it. One, two, sit tall out of those hips. Three, four. Now release over. And each time you do these stretches, try to go a little bit lower. Inhale. Now reach those arms up with a lot of energy forward. Sit tall and press it all the way out. The head is long and down. Try not to bounce, just hold, stay there. Lift that chest, draw that foot in. Now my right leg is out, lace those hands. And again, as soon as you lace, the automatic reaction is gonna to be to lift the shoulders, the shoulders away from the neck, tightening that belly button, twist left and center, squeeze. Now I'm not taking my hip, see that is wrong. See that position, I'm moving my hip. I want my hip straight, so watch me once, just my waist. And kind of push into it, tightening those abs again. Don't tense those shoulders. Twist, I have four more. One, two, keep it going. Three, four, excellent. Now reach it up, nice and tall. Exhale over, keep that head long. Drop it down all the way, inhale. And just release that back, excellent. Now as you sit up, 
We want to take a nice stretch on that arm, right back, like a back stroke, and left two more times. Let's open that chest all the way. And remember, don't hold your breath, stretch. Now we want to reverse it, so with a lot of energy forward and down and forward. I have two more repetitions. One, one more, two, and over. Now kind of just shake it out. Now extend that right heel forward, left heel forward. Now we want to go as far as we can, so our arms are out. Let's kind of gather the energy forward, inhale. Now look at where I stretch from my back, not my chest. My chest is still up, I'm bending from my back. Inhale and exhale. Now let those arms come down and kind of let that back just go side to side, stretching it. Now my feet are flat. Just close your eyes a second, take a nice deep breath in. Now exhale. And while you're doing that, inhale again. Imagine those back muscles expanding, exhale. One more time, inhale. Exhale, expand that back. Now just take a second, slowly sit up. And as you open your eyes, sitting tall in that chair, just roll those shoulders. Two, once more, and one. Now let's gently let our head stretch to the left, our shoulders. Now remember, don't grip those shoulders. Shoulders down, stay, up and over to the other side. Take a couple of seconds, just center your body. Other side again, up. Drop that shoulder, just stay. And then we have one more time. Lift, take it over and hold. Excellent. Now look straight ahead. Remember that string, we're sitting really tall. A nice deep breath up, filling with a lot of energy. And exhale, let's do that one more time. Inhale, let me hear you breathe. And blow it out. Excellent job today. We really worked hard on our core with our Pilates exercises, and hopefully you got a good stretch to lengthen your muscles. So I really look forward to our next session. Stay strong.